seven wild charts, graphs, and spreadsheets that show Tesla's lead is unassailable. Ah, did I get that title in there? Did it all show up? Did it work? Hey guys, give me a thumbs up in the chat or a couple kind words to let me know that you can hear me okie dokie. And here I am. Hi guys. Hi guys. Howdy, howdy, how do you do? Happy Friday. What a great week it has been. What a great week. Let's, uh, I know the spacing looks weird, but uh, rest assured, rest assured, it's not. I'll make sure I'm muted here. Oh, fun times. Hello to my regulars. Rob, Therese, Wendelin. Hello, hello, hello. Let's see if we got somebody else watching. Yeah, 20 people. That's enough to get started, I think. So, uh, heads up. There's going. I'm hoping to do an Ask Me Anything to commemorate the one-year anniversary of the channel coming up in about uh, two, three weeks. Three weeks-ish. So, if you've got any um, questions, by all means, uh, let's hear them. I think that'd be fun and great. Boy, I'm having data stream issues already, so... Hopefully those aren't too bad. Okay. Wild charts and stuff. So what's going on with that? Well, I saw a couple of uh, pretty interesting ones, and I wanted to uh, share them. And uh, once I got into those, I figured, why not go deeper? Why not go deeper? So the first one, uh, I'd like to say welcome to my newest Patreon, Sparky Lyle. Thank you so much. More info at the end. Whoopsie doodle. So Gort is a... Uh, is a uh, Patreon and shared this incredibly juicy graph. Undeniable proof we are living in a simulation. Baseline linear trends in the chart below are for Tesla, increasing exactly 420, 69, nice per year. I mean, that's, that's, com that's a compelling argument right there. Thank you, Gort, for that awesome, awesome chart. The other one is the stock. I mean, look at that. Green. We like green. Green is nice. Green is nice. But uh, that's great. But it's also, let's look at the five day. Ooh. The one month. The six month. The year to date. The year. The five year. So I don't know how you feel about stocks going up. I've been assured that that's the only thing they do. I'd need a citation on that, but that's, I'm excited about that. So this was a great one. Stephen Mark Ryan on Solving the Money Problem had this really fun chart showing North American uh, automotive growth and predictions for all the car makers going out to 2030. And I decided, um, so one of his viewers leaked it to him, and I decided, you know what, I'm just going to go there myself and uh, look at it. You can't, you can't view it. You have to pay for it. So I spent um, a considerable amount of time and uh, energy trying to get a price, and they would not give me one. They would not tell me the price for anything. They just wanted more and more and more information. And to have a salesman call me later, uh, which, <clears throat> it, and, you know, I'm not going to pay for your data if you're going to make it that difficult and it's garbage. And would you like to know how garbage it is? I'd be happy to tell you. This is from Stephen Mark Ryan's video. Look at this. Here's all the different car companies by year out to 2030. And if you look, oh, GM, holding steady, good. Uh, you know, uh, Ford, doing great. Well, this little tiny green sliver here, that's, uh, that's Tesla. And that's Tesla and okay. So they're saying it's not a gonna grow at all. Which, I don't know if you know, the chart over my head. I can uh, do that. There you go. There you go. I can move my head. So, they're saying Tesla's not going to grow. It's going to maintain, essentially, its current North American production and delivery levels. Which is a little... I, uh, I'd, be, I'd be very curious to know how that how you come up with that, considering there's a brand new factory coming online, like, next month. So let's see, who wrote this? Joe Langley, Associate Director, North American Light Vehicle Production. Uh, he's a thought leader 
an, a forecasting expert, a media contributor, and a data series expert. I would love to interview Joe Langley because he is a media contributor. And apparently I can do that for the low, low price of a thousand dollars. Pass. That's going to be a pass. Joe, if you'd like to come on the channel for free, I would love to get some insight on how you came up with these numbers because that graph is bananas. So let's talk about this. What's this? What's going on over here? Good stuff. This is my deep dive. So what's Tesla production? Let's uh, find where that box is. There we go. Production rate. Um, you know, it's tough to say. Uh, what are we talking? 850,000 this year? It's going to be kind of, I think, I think 850 is reasonable. If anything, I think it's going to be a little conservative, uh, which would be a monthly production of 70,000 units. Now, you don't have to go back very far to see load up. What are you doing? Hmm. Well, that's quality. You don't have to go back very far to see. It was about 2016, 17, 20, there we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, it was only a few years ago. The Tesla was only producing 70,000 a year. So we'll just skip that. We'll skip that. Um, I need it for the joke. Okay. So anyway, daily production, boom. Hourly, boom. Minutely, which is a real word, I assure you, 1.6 cars a minute. 1.6 cars a minute, Tesla makes globally. Which is, and I don't know if you know how many seconds per hour there are, 3,600. And I'm not even going to provide a citation on that. You'll have to believe me. Which means every 37 seconds, Tesla's making a new car. That's, that's a lot of cars, man. That's a lot of cars. So that's exciting. That's exciting. The, the next exciting thing I'd like to talk about, Model Y in Shanghai. And, you know, I like to stick with the good news. So this is a... Uh, are you... There we go. Model Y reportedly reached 1,000 units a day recently. Now, that isn't for the full month or the full year. That was for a day. But we just got production numbers out of China for the month, and they were ridiculous. I have them here somewhere. 24,000. They made 23,600 something. So let's, let's, let's do the same kind of thing. Units per day, a thousand. Curb weight, 4,416 pounds. Now, why is that relevant? It, it isn't, but it's kind of fun. They're making 4.4 million pounds of Model Ys on a good day. So that would be, you know, 2,200 tons or rather 805,000 tons a year. That's a lot of tons. And an aircraft carrier weighs 90,000 tons. What? Why did I even look that up? There's the curb weight. Yeah, 90,000 tons. That's perfectly silly. I told you, I was going deep. Nobody shares these numbers. That's nine aircraft carriers a year worth of just Model Ys. Ooh, don't do that. Or, hmm, gonna make me do it manually, huh? Uh, days of aircraft carrier. Uh, so every 41 days, just the Model Y, an aircraft carrier. <sighs> Gotta wonder how many horsepower that is. Mm, mm. Well, it turns out uh, it's 160,000 horsepowers of electricity and 350,000 of, uh, you know, of the old, uh, the old shaft horsepower, which sounds a lot dirtier than it is. Let's scroll this down a little bit. And, uh, yeah, versus 456, 370, let's just say 400. So aircraft carrier horsepower, why not? And, uh, yeah, 41,000 model Ys, we'll just say 400, 16 million horsepower. So I got to ask, which would you rather have? 41,000 Model Ys or an aircraft carrier. Guess it kind of depends on your aspirations, huh? 
I told you guys, going deep this week. Deep cuts. And if you, there's going to be a Q&A at the end, so have your questions ready for that faux show. Let's see here. That's a lot of batteries. So this is exciting. Because as you know, Tesla is working to buy batteries from everybody and make their own and do all that a good stuff. So what would that look like? Mm-hmm. All right. Sorry. Oh, come on. 2021 production, 850,000. Now, I think it might be a little higher. We might get to 900, but we'll look at that later. Not today. Uh, batteries per car. Did you know, do you know how many batteries go into each model? Well, it's obviously higher for the S and X. Making sure everyone can still hear me. Yeah. Uh, battery consists of 4,416 2170s. And again, the S and X are more, and maybe the performance might be more. It's hardly, hardly important. We're just going to use that number. Let's get over here. Batteries per car. Ah, <sighs> so that means total cells is 3.7 billion a year. That's 10 million a day. That's 400,000 per hour. That's 7,000 cells Tesla uses per minute. 119 cells every second globally. That's, that's hard to wrap your head around, you know? That's hard to wrap your head around. That's, they're going long on batteries. I think that's pretty much impossible to argue. Uh, how long are they going, though? That's the question. So a height of a 2170, don't know if you know this, is 70 millimeters. Yeah, yeah, I showed a citation on it for no reason. I think you would have believed me, but, you know, um, that gives us 300 meters of batteries per car laid end to end. 720,000 battery meters per day. 720 kilometers. Silly. Which is, by the way, the distance from Arkansas to Alabama. Uh, sorry, Arkansas to Atlanta. It's that distance. It's greater than that distance. So, that's a lot of batteries. Oh, no, I wasn't showing it. I'll do better. I'll do better. <sighs> ah. So, yeah. So, that's, that's great. Uh, 700, so, the distance from Atlanta to Arkansas every single day in batteries, which leads me to wonder, how many kilometers per month... Hmm, 21,000, what would that be like? Enough to wrap around the moon twice. Yep. Yep, enough to wrap around the moon twice. How many kilometers per year? Ooh, now we're getting into the exciting stuff. 262,000. Why, that's enough to wrap around the Earth Six and a half times. Every year, Tesla is using enough batteries to wrap around the globe six and a half times. And that's as of 2021's, you know, median production rate. It'll be more next year. We're going to need bigger planets. Oh, so silly. So silly. I had fun putting these together, can you tell? So let's actually talk about something that matters. Cybertruck reservations. And this is out of date. Now, I assume the reservations are slowing down because um, the line's too long, you know? The line is too long. It's tough to get in that line this late. Um, but what would that be? Well, uh, how, how long does the reservation book go? Well, we can actually find the answer to that. Uh, well, the length is 231.7 inches, so let's go ahead and put that in. And uh, 
Yeah, that's uh, 289 million inches uh, for mm, 24 million feet, uh, which would be, you know, uh, 4,571 miles, which would be Los Angeles to Chicago and back. And that's a little crazy to think about. It really is. Because this is an order book they can get through. They are absolutely, you know, the pickup truck industry, Ford generally sells about a million trucks a year. Here we go. Last year was a very bad year. Only 787,000, down 12%, you know, due to um, the pandemic. Uh, Silverado, another 600,000. Ram, another 600,000. It's a big market. Tesla can absolutely, over the next however many years, three to five, build enough Cybertrucks to line them bumper to bumper from Los Angeles to Chicago and back. If that don't make you excited, I don't know what does. RAV4, that's not a truck. Oh, that's right. The whole article's about cars. Right, 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 right. So that's pretty exciting. Let me see what this is before I click on it. Um, but what about, what about Ford's grand aspirations? Well, Ford has increased their outlook, their intentions. Ford is going to spend $850 million to double its original output goals for the electric truck. But that's only going to get them to a capacity of 80,000 trucks. So uh, that's like 10 grand a truck and, it, and double that because you've got, because you've already got the first half of the capacity there. That's a lot of money to not create much capacity. So let's look at not their reservations, but their actual production intentions. They're not planning to make very many. None this year. 22,000 next year. Let me find it on here so I can show it to you. Mm -hmm. Up higher, up higher. Nope. I'll get there. There we go. Well, this is... These are even lower, but 15,000 ramping up to 80,000 at any rate. Yes, it doesn't matter. It, it really doesn't matter. You shall see why. 2023, 20, let's make sure we're looking good on all this stuff. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep. So up to 55,000, up to 80,000 for a three-year maximum, if everything goes great, of 157,500 trucks. That's not good. That's not good. 80,000 would only represent 8% of Ford's, you know, typical sort of delivery, maybe 9%. They're going to only get to 8 or 9% of their fleet of trucks electric by 2024. Do you know how long that's going to, I mean, it's just stupid. It's just stupid. So here's how long that would be. Um, 232 inches. Yeah, we're doing that again. Uh, would be 36 million inches, 3 million feet, 578 miles, which is only Detroit to, what are we looking at? Philadelphia. Detroit to Philadelphia. I'm not excited. I'm going to be honest, I'm not excited. Okay, well, that was great. That was so silly. Let me pop this on the screen in case you all forgot. So let's look at uh, some other non-chart related news and see how this is going. Fate loves irony. Ford recalls Mach-E over concerns that the windshield and glass roof may fly off. Now, I'm not criticizing Ford here. What I'm saying is these things happen. Cars have recalls. That's not an unusual thing. The fact that Tesla has so few, if anything, is pretty surprising. You would expect a young company um, with entirely new models all the time and incredible growth and growing pains. I would expect more recalls. I'm pleasantly surprised. And you know when the next one comes, it's going to bang the heck out of the stock. But that's a buy-in opportunity, I think. 
And of course, none of this is uh, investment advice. I am not an investment advisor. And unlike your investment advisor, I don't pretend to be. Let's see what's going on over here. Something exciting? No? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll get back to those guys in a second. This is the biggest exciting news to me this week. Sawyer Merritt on Twitter, who generally has very reliable information. Tesla 4680 yield is very good. They are still working on the throughput. Many variables at play, increasing speed, uncover simple engineering issues that need adjusting or fixing. And by the way, mm, 4680s have been in production for a long time now on the pilot line. Some are going to testing facilities in the US and Germany. Others are being used by the structural engineering team. The rest are being stockpiled. Now, I don't know how many you need for testing or for the structural engineering team, but I'm going to guess that if they're producing in any kind of quantity over the past year, year and a half, the stockpile, oh, thank you, Twitter, for needlessly doing that, is going to be substantial. Mega pack and solar to replace gigantic pack coal plant in New Mexico. These are exciting. These grid scale energy projects, they save money and they make money and they get rid of coal. And in some cases, natural gas, it's all wonderful. You know, there was that plant in Southern Australia that made, that cost a gajillion dollars and made it all back quickly. Then they expanded it and they're expanding it again. The biggest one is expanding again. Now, my concern with that would be where are they going to build all these? They've been building them at Giga Nevada, but the, without expanding it, the, the, the space is a bit limited and the talent pool there is limited. Oh, wait, look at that. Tesla breaks ground on new Megapack factory to produce Megapack batteries. So uh, this building looks kind of done to me. So I'm not sure if they're expanding it or what. So I went ahead and, and I know this is crazy, I read the article. I read the article. Um, the big takeaway here is that not only are they building this plant, but they, according to their 10K, already own of a half million square foot building an hour east of Fremont. There it is. And has long-term leases on three more buildings for over a million square feet. And they took over a new 870,000 square foot building in 2019. So if you're looking for space, I know where you could find a couple million square feet. Two, three. That's a lot of space, my friend. And by the way, you can buy these mega packs. Uh, they're $10 million. Plus, I think, 40000 a year or a month in maintenance. I don't plan to get one. But, uh, no, I don't plan to get one. And uh, this is more exciting. Let me go ahead and smoonchies this over a bit. Yeah, just do that. Do that. Popular models sold out. Now, if you don't care which model you get, you might be able to get someone's cancellation where their financing fell through or a random model here or there. But they're basically sold out uh, in America. And what's exciting here is, you remember the U.S. used to be the export hub for Tesla for the entire world. And uh, then uh, Shanghai took over some of it, and now Shanghai is handling kind of all of it. Fremont does not really export. All of the production and production increases are being absorbed in North America, which is, which is great, which is exciting. Uh, yeah, so there's my, um, you know, I guess I didn't need to slide that as far over as I said. There we go. Slide it some more. Why not? Hey, thanks to my patrons, all that good stuff. Um, so the we'll get to the Q&A here in just a second. As a reminder, I do have an Ask Me Anything coming up um, next month as part of uh, my one-year anniversary extravaganza. I've been doing this for a little bit too long uh, or just long enough. It kind of depends on, uh, on uh, how you feel about that. My chat window is broken. I can see it over here, but not over here. I uh, huh, huh. guess I'll do that. Try and get my chat back real quick. That's why I changed screens. I'll get it. I'll get it. 
Oh, I'm not going to get it. Okay, I'll do it differently. Anyway, uh, so in all that, let me know what I missed or misunderstood. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. Uh, but let's dig in and see what sort of Q&A we've got. Uh, yes, hello, Rob. Hello, everyone. Hello, War. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, this is the most exciting part where I just kind of sit here. You prefer stocks to go down so you can buy them. That would be, that would be nice. I would also like that. <laughs> How many trucks do they need to move all that weight? Ooh. Well, you can use the trucks over and over, so I don't know. Uh, yeah, I did forget to slap a your mama joke in there. <laughs> yeah. How many Model Ys can fit on an aircraft carrier? I, I tried doing deeper, sillier stuff like that, and it gets difficult to figure out. It gets difficult to figure out. There's no good open spaces inside. Mm. As someone aspiring to be a supervillain, I definitely prefer the aircraft carrier. Well, um, you know... Today's supervillains go with rockets. I don't know if you know that. And tunnels. Underground. And mind control. And uh, robots. Just thinking out loud here. You gotta think bigger, my friend. Closer to machine gun speed. Yes, but they want to get... So we were talking about the speed that the batteries come out. We want to get to machine gun speed on each line. On each line. I don't know how we do that, but, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Arkansas to Atlanta is okay. Not great, but never go from Atlanta to Arkansas. Trust me. Oh, I've only been to Atlanta. It was fine. It was great. I have a friend who lives there. It was wonderful. Bigger planets or more of them. Yeah, we need more planets. That's what we need. Almost to the moon, but not quite. I know, I know, I know. Mm. So you got in line, uh, Therese got in line for the Cybertruck last week, and you figure four years. I'm considering putting a reservation in myself. Um, it's definitely not in my budget, but in four years, man, I'll be old. I'm already, I'm already getting there. How certain are we of the Cybertruck reservation numbers? So, not not. Um, the method used to try and predict the Cybertruck reservation numbers um, came from the early days before any announcements were made. And when the people, when the civilians, when the outsiders were doing the tracker, they said, oh, it's up to 300,000. And a few days later, uh, Tesla announced, oh, we're at 350,000 reservations. So at that point, they believed the tracker was accurate. There's I can see reasons why it would still be accurate and why it wouldn't. Um, but the bigger issue is, for the foreseeable future, they will just sell as many as they can make, and I don't think the actual number actually matters. Lightning production will be about 10% of Cybertruck for the same time frame. I have to agree. I have to agree. Ford is only now waking up to the immense difficulty of of building electric vehicles. The whole supply chain has to be kind of invented. If you want to make one, you can use the existing supply chain, but if you want to make a million, you have to build your own. It means no more than about 400,000 Cybertrucks per year. So Sawyer Merritt on his tweet was also saying that the initial battery cell facility at Giga Texas uh, has a capacity of about 500,000 vehicles a year, but that can be expanded because apparently the machines in there are modular in design and can be reconfigured in a number of different ways, which is, you know, super cool. Let me see if I can find that. <laughs> Where'd you go, Twitter? Where'd you go? Here he is. Um, that's quality. That's quality. 
Poor, poor Compy. Okay, so we'll see if that loads, but it's probably, I've got too many windows open. I've got too many windows open. Uh, let's get back over here. But um, they could, you know, if there's demand beyond 400,000, which initially there wouldn't, it would be very unlikely. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Uh, which initially there wouldn't, wouldn't necessarily be. Um, they would be able to um, build another line um, or expand. I honestly believe they could just expand within that space or next door to it. I think it'd be very, if they can build Model Ys in a collection of tents, I mean, I think it'd be pretty, pretty straightforward. I have a feeling Ford, Rob Womack, hi Rob, good to see you, is uh, sandbagging their production. Um, their actual EV target numbers. Uh, I don't. Um, Ford has a pretty good track record of saying what they're going to do and doing what they're going to say. Um, the Mach-E came out on time with its specs and produced within its targets. Uh, I don't think they're going to shift until they have to, but I do think they're going to have to sooner than they realize. North America output is really a projection to 2023. The rest is just unchanged. Even the 2023 numbers are impressively poor. Total garbage. So we're talking about this. Yeah. Yeah, those, these numbers are, I mean, what are you doing? What are you, why? Why even, yeah, they don't really change much at all. What, I would very much appreciate an opportunity to speak with Joe Langley. Uh, I'll reach out to him. Maybe I'll reach out to him, see if he uh, can explain a little bit of his um, thought process, where those numbers are coming from. Ford Lightning sales hurts Ford's profits, so will only produce enough to be relevant. In the short run, I 100% agree. The margins are great on their trucks. They live on their trucks. I don't believe they're going to be able to achieve the same margins on the Lightning. Ford has the biggest frunk. So if you're a, if you're frunkophilic, buy the Lightning. I have seen people on social media saying that the frunk is the reason they're going to buy the Lightning because the Cybertruck doesn't have one. What? Why would... What? That doesn't make any sense at all. Don't forget the drain plug. That is a really good one. Uh, for those who don't know, the Mach-E has a drain plug, so you can use the frunk as a cooler and drain it at the end. And if you stuff body parts in there and need to d clean it better, it's... it's <sighs> I've seen some theories. Social media gets weird. I think Ford may fail, but they know the writing is on the wall. It's time for them to either adapt or die. Or they're stupid. Yeah, they might be. I don't think they're stupid. I think the problem they have is that um, every CEO knows that he only has to be good for his tenure, his or her tenure, and then let the cards fall where they may. Next guy's got a problem. I don't. Hard for them to succeed with a stealership boat anchor. The dealerships are proving problematic. Uh, annual shareholder meeting is in Austin on October 7th. Think they'll announce the beginning of Model Y production? I hadn't thought about it, but yes, I do. And by the way, for the curious, uh, I had mentioned that I was considering going to Berlin, and uh, my wife vetoed that idea. Um, and it looks like it was probably for the best because there have been a number of travel restrictions imposed by other countries, and I'm just not sure that I'd actually be able to get to use the ticket. And I'm not sure I want to. I'm just not comfortable jammed in a tube full of strangers' farts for 30 hours. Maybe start with a six-pack before moving on with the Mega Pack. Uh, you buying? Uh, let me know. Tesla put their first New Mexico service center just north of Santa Fe on sovereign tribal land. That is a great one. They did this to bypass the crooked New Mexico politicians. And I wouldn't say that the current ones are, are corrupt. I don't know. 
but they were historically when the laws were passed that have made it difficult for dealerships to for manufacturers to sell direct to consumers. Um, and I think we're going to see more of that. I think we're going to see that those popping up in every state where there are uh, sales location restrictions. Yes, I war says I'm looking forward to them to using it the same tactic in other states. Absolutely. Charlie, dang, joined way too late. Thanks for your work. Enjoy your work. Thank you, Charlie. Mm, I got a suggestion from Bear at Bear's Workshop this week. He said, the time of your live stream is too late. 8 p.m. Pacific on a Friday. That's 11 p.m. East Coast. Could you do it a different time? And the answer is, I don't care. Uh, when do you guys want me to do it? Do you want me to do it Saturday morning, Saturday noon? Just let me know. Uh, I'm flexible. Uh, maybe I'll put up a Twitter poll on that. Yeah, I'll put up a Twitter poll on that. Uh, because, you know, uh, more viewers is great. Um, I'm happy to do kind of whatever. Well, I mean, within reason. If RoboTaxi is not ready, Cybertruck reservations will fall out quickly. <sighs> yes. Fantastic. That is, a, that is a beautiful point. I was going to mention it and I forgot. Thank you for reminding me. So, the first... There are people who bought 10, 20, 50 reservations uh, with the hope of using it as a cyber taxi. If cyber taxi is ready, done. But if it's not, nobody's buying 50, except to flip them. So I think the first 200, 300, half million, I think those will still sell. Um, and remember, there are people like me uh, who are not on the list who want one but I'm not uh, I'm not paying over retail uh, and also I'm not paying retail because I can't afford that but uh, I believe in four years I can maybe in a year who knows who knows this channel could be going gangbusters black on black beautiful yeah I agree I I'm a night mode guy for most of my web stuff gotta go black on black Got to do it. Uh, let's get this guy out of here. I'm sick of that guy. Uh, get your head off the screen. It's blocking all the charts. I think that was from earlier. Yeah, that was from way earlier. And I, I, will, um, I will do better on that. I will do better on that. There will be a push for governments around the world for independent battery factories to support energy. There will. There will. The EU is already doing it. Germany separately is doing it you know China's doing it um, that's absolutely and um, that's part of the infrastructure bill or it was at one point uh, I think that will absolutely happen because it's a good idea um, best time is now <laughs> uh, yeah I enjoy hanging out with you too Rob I enjoy hanging out you know the regulars I didn't expect to get so familiar with so many of you and I think it's awesome and I appreciate it Okay. Well, uh, I think that's it. Oh, fun. Fun. Silly. Very silly. Very silly. Sorry for the couple dips out there. Um, I will, uh, next week I'll reboot right before I do it. That tends to solve some problems. So, uh, what did I miss or misunderstand? Uh, stay tuned, stay juicy, all that good stuff. And thanks. I would ask you guys to 